Hello, welcome back to Max Automotive Channel. Today is the day that we're going to hook up the trailer to the Model 3 and uh, give the towing a test. All right, let's take out the panel. And then we'll plug in our panel with the 7 pin on it. <clears throat> let's first uh, put the hitch in. <clears throat> Hitch in and lock it. Okay, lock our panel now. First, we'll plug in the four pin and kind of hold it in place here. And then our two additional wires for the trailer brake. This will be a power on the ground. All right, now we can put the panel in place. All right, and uh, before we do anything else, uh, we'll go ahead and plug the fuse in and uh, we'll test our connections, make sure everything's wired correctly. Okay, I'll probably leave this fuse in from now on. Before we go through all the trouble of hooking up the trailer, um, we'll just test our connector. Make sure that everything's in good working order here. Okay, we got one LED on, which indicates that uh, we have power going to the hitch. So that's auxiliary power. So uh, let's try our turn signal. works all right works and then we'll try the brake okay first thing we're going to do here is hook in the uh, echo smart uh, wireless trailer brake and we got the little blue light there Indicating that it's plugged in and it has power. And then we'll plug our tester into that. And we can see that the power is going all the way through. So now we got a flashing yellow light here. There, green, which means I believe it's hooked up. Um, so tap to accept. Now it's uh, connecting to the Bluetooth. And let's go with profile one. Okay, so now to activate the trailer brake, um, we just hold this down. And you can see that the uh, brake lamp comes on here. So that's telling us that it has power. Now, um, we can adjust well, you can adjust the sensitivity of it as well as the amount. So let's see, it looks like 60 is the highest. So let's just go down to uh, the lowest setting here, which is five, and then we'll hold it. And you can see it doesn't eliminate nearly as bright. So as we increase it, you'll see that it will come up higher, which tells us that um, it's getting more power there. That's much brighter there now. So anyway, we're in the, when we're in the car, we can hit this and then activate the trailer brake. However, when you hit the brake on the car, it's going to do the same thing. So it'll go to whatever our desired level is, um, whatever we set it to here on the app. 
Okay, this wireless brake controller does come with this uh, little strap here to help hold it in place so it doesn't uh, shake loose. So anyway, we'll plug it in with that. And then um, we'll run this over the top. And then push that on. It's another level of security here to make sure that that does not pop loose. All right, um, we got the uh, cell phone hooked up here. Um, we got it set to 100% right now. So I'll start rolling forward a little bit and then we'll apply this brake and see if it locks it up. It should lock the trailer brakes up or the wheels up because we have no load on it right now and we have 100% uh, max output here going to it. So I'll just start easing forward here a little bit. Apply the trailer. Yep, it's just skidding. So that does work. Yep, and it rolls when it's not on. One thing I really like with Tesla here is when I put it into reverse, um, I got a beautiful view here of the trailer. Really nice. It'll be make it very nice for hooking up because I can see right here where the ball is. Even the back of the bumper there, so very clear view. Alright, so let's put this in gear. And we'll go around the block here. <clears throat> A lot of noise is transferred into the vehicle with this hitch. Unlike a truck, you don't really hear it as, as much. All right, looks like the signals are working. Okay, so I'll pull over a little bit right here. And uh, we'll play around with the brake a little bit. Um, I got it set to 20% right now, so let's see if uh, it still drags the tires. No, but it stops the car very... You can feel the additional drag. So yeah, it's definitely working there. It's working perfectly. So it looks like with uh, no load on it, uh, about 20 is about perfect. I think I'll put this thing in uh, creep mode and uh, with it in creep mode we'll see if we can apply enough brake to stop it. Um, propels and steering, uh, regenerative braking, um, there's creep, I'm going to have to stop the car first. Okay there's creep. Okay so now when I put it in gear we just start rolling. I'm not uh, applying any throttle here at all and uh, then if I hit this it's slowing us down a bit. I can feel that. It didn't lock them up, so maybe we can go up to 20. Let's go to try 25. Yeah, it's slowing me down to a stop. And I'm basically stopping the car just with the trailer. Let's see if we can go to 30. That might lock them up. I don't know. That's a little much, but yeah, it slows us down. I think we're dragging the tires there a little bit. So it looks like about 25 is optimum um, when there's no weight on the trailer. And if I just hit the brakes, yeah, it shows that it comes on here just by hitting the regular brake and it'll come on to that amount, green amount. And I believe um, it actually has an accelerometer in the uh, wireless controller so it can apply more brake the more aggressive you are with, tr with trying to stop very noisy though boy a lot of noise is transferred into the vehicle All right, looks like everything turned out as predicted um, without a hitch. No pun intended. No, there was a pun intended. Anyway, uh, the next time we pick up a project car, we'll really put the uh, trailer through its paces. 
So till then, I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.